Welcome to my channel. You know, many of y'all ask where I get my horses from and uh, my response is always the same. What I do is I go on online, usually eBay, and I look for some Briar 1 9th scale horses. And you know what? There's some really good deals out there. I found this Barbaro right here uh, on sale for about $29, including shipping. You know, because I think the, the packaging is a little, you know, is a little worn. And some of the people that uh, buy these things are collectors. So, you know, if you can find uh, one in package that's uh, cheap, it's probably going to have some damage to the package. But, you know, I don't care. I'm going to be taking them out of the box. But you know what? Um, these guys, the Briar horses, are a little expensive. You know, they average about $30, right? And the saddles are another, like, $25 or $30. Bucks. Here I have a, a saddle blanket that I that I put together. Uh, I didn't like the one that came with it. It was a little bit girly. Um, not that there's anything wrong with being girly, but it's for my apes, you know? And so um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to make an inexpensive, not only harness, you know, uh, bit and bridle, but also a, sh uh, a little saddle for your horses so that, you know, you can create your own Planet of the Apes dioramas using horses and hopefully maybe save a little bit of uh, cash as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the materials we're going to use. I use this little vinyl. I think I got it at either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. It's just it's just a little vinyl piece. You know, they sell it by the yard. I didn't buy a yard, so it wasn't really expensive. Uh, Walmart also sells these pieces of felt. I think they're 88 cents each. You know, you're going to need two of those. And you're also going to need these templates. Now, I'm going to include these in the uh, description below as a, as a file. But there's basically two um, different templates. The first one is the top and the middle for the saddle and the other one is also part of the saddle but it's the bottom part of the saddle so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of layer it. I'm going to have a piece of leather then I'm going to have a piece of felt and then I'm going to have another piece of, not leather, um, vinyl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing that out right now. Let's see. Let's start with the vinyl. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can from this. Let's see how am I going to do this. That way I can, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to do something like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna simply trace it out. And like I said, I'm gonna put these templates down below. I actually um, I bought a saddle and it was really, really cheap. And what happened was I found out why it was cheap. It was falling apart. It was like really, really old leather. And so, um, you know, I couldn't really use it as a saddle, but I thought, you know what, that'll make a good um, template if I want to make my own. And so that's kind of like why I made my own because I was a little upset that I didn't have the saddle I wanted, you know, because it, like I said, it was just kind of like rotten leather. And so I thought, well, I'll just make my own. And since then, you know, this has really come in handy. I mean, I, I'm not going to tell you that I don't like the Briar Saddles, because I do. But, you know, um, here, I'm going to need another one of these. Oh, no, this is for the uh, the other piece. Um, but I, I really like the saddles that come with the Briar Horses, if you buy them separately. Because they just, I mean, they're cool. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I think I'm going to save you the the tedium of watching me cut them out. I'm just going to cut them out. I'll be right back. Well, here are the pieces that I have. I have my, my top piece, and that came from my top middle template, right? I got my middle piece, which is made out of the felt, and that also came from my top middle. And then I have my bottom, came from my bottom template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all together. I'm gonna make sure you center them. And then I'm gonna glue them using my hot glue gun. You know what, um, let me get my horse and see how that's going to look on there. Okay, that's the way the saddle's going to look. And you'll see there's a notch in the template which kind of like helps you line everything up. So try to use that, that notch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add some glue. And let me go ahead and glue this down. And if you have any left over, that's okay because it's going to, well, you know, if there's like, like this piece, I might have to cut. 
But if you have a little left over, it's okay. It's just going to add to the dimension of the piece, right? So that's what it's going to look like when I'm done there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some straps and use the other piece to attach uh, this to the horse. But let me let me get everything together first. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some hot glue there. And this one is a little more critical, so let me see, make sure I line it up well. All right. Looks like it's ready for my horse. Now the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, sta a strap. So let me let that kind of like dry, harden or whatever, and I'll be right back with the next step. This part is using a cutter to cut a strap. Now, I'm going to let you in on something. I was doing this earlier and I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. So I'm redoing it. So let me just get some of my fabric. It's that final stuff that I'm using. And I'm gonna put it in my cutter. Now the cutter has a line over here on the side so that you can line it up straight. And it has like um, these other lines over here so you know that if it's lined up correctly. Cause you don't want it crooked. Now this one, since I've already done my, my big strap, I'm gonna make a thin strap. This one's going to be for the, the bridle. And so the secret to this is starting in the middle. Oops. Okay. Pressing this down. Try to do it on camera. Oop, that's still not. Hang on. Let me get some. There we go. Get some slack on it. Okay, looks like that's straight. So I'm gonna start in the middle and cut this way. And I'm gonna go back to the middle and cut the other way. Okay, and then I get a nice little strap here. Oop, hang on. Let me get my scissors out. Cut that off by hand. And that's how you get a strap. But for the for the bottom part. The strap is going to be a little bit thicker. I did this, I think, maybe about a, a little bit less than a quarter inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of my saddle. As I said before, I kind of messed up. I've already done this, but I didn't know that it didn't record. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of drops of glue there again. You can see that I have them already. And I'm just going to run a bead all the way down to here because I want a good attachment point on this. Okay, and that's going to set. I want to make sure that it's straight along that, that bottom part of the saddle. I'm going to let that set and I'll be right back. Now that I have the saddle on the horse, I'm going to draw my, my cinch across the bottom and I'm going to find the point where I need to attach it to my saddle. It looks like it's right here and I'm hoping that I can get, um, let me put a little mark there. I'm hoping that I can get my top part of my saddle to cover it, if not, I don't think it's a big deal. You're just going to see a, a couple of um, a couple of thread marks. So let me go through and check it one more time before I go on to the next step. Let me. Well, no, I better not do it on the outside. Okay. Let me make sure everything's fitting well. Excellent. And the top of it is actually it's a little bit higher. So that's where I'm going to start with my. Um, with my little uh, snap. And they're just little snaps that you can get at like a uh, fabric store. I have my little sewing box over here. And they're pretty inexpensive. You know, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby for, I don't know, like two bucks and I had a bunch of them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, take the saddle off and start sewing. So I'm gonna start by sewing, let's see, this little part to this end. And this one, it's really not a big deal because you can't see it anyway. So you can basically, you know, it can be a, you know, a casual crafter job because <laughs> I'm not the best sewer in the world. You know, tailor or seamstress or whatever, I don't know. Let me see if I can get this to, there we go, I just tied a little knot in it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this little snap on.
you know, my mom can really sew, but she's getting, she's a little old now and I think her sewing days are done, but yeah, she was, she was awesome. Okay. I'm going to keep sewing this on my own because it looks like I'm getting caught up on the thread. I'm going to finish this and I'll be back to the next part. So there's my crummy sewing job. I went ahead and I glued it on top so no one could uh, see how bad it was. So now that I've got that on there, I simply take my, uh, my saddle and I'm going to snap it. Oh, if it'll snap, there we go. And so there I go. I have my, my saddle. Now you notice it's a little loose. That's because I got to put on my, um, my blanket. This is a uh, four by three and a half piece. So I'm gonna take that and put it underneath. You know what, I might have to take up some of this slack. I think the easiest way to do that is to take my piece here that's glued and just glue it a little higher up. And then that way the snap will work a little bit better. And I'll take my three and a half by four inch piece and put it on the horse. This is still setting. Okay, I think that's good. Hmm. Okay, moment of truth. Trying to get the blanket on there. I think that's centered. Come around over here and see if I can get my snap going. There, oop. I thought I had it, I heard it snap. And then I can adjust the the horse blanket. I think this would be easier to do off camera. I think I already showed you the adjustment that I had to make, so I might just do the rest off camera. There we go. So, there's the saddle. Uh, oh, it looks like it's coming up a little bit over here. I might have to do some minor adjustments, but I think you get the gist of it right there. I'm gonna have to glue that down a little bit. So that'll fit. I'll get that in just a second. But yeah, there's basically the saddle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the bridle of the horse. For the bridle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across and I'm going to mark where to put the part, uh, the front part of the bridle. So I'm gonna glue that down and then adjust as necessary. I think just a drop will do. Let's see where do I make my mark? I'm right there. I'm gonna let that drop. You yeah, know, let me go ahead and cut it. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set and I'm gonna go on to the next part. The next part, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a piece that's gonna go all the way around. Let me pull it up as high as I can. And this is gonna go around his ears and it's gonna come in the front. Let me go ahead and mark that. And then I'm gonna glue that on the inside. 
of this piece right here. Let me go ahead and cut it off. There's my mark right there. So I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna glue it on the inside. Let me see. Right about there. So I got it glued on the inside and then I'm going to come around his ears and I'm going to glue the other side. And I think I'm good with this part. I'm getting a mess with my glue. I'll be right back. There I got it uh, on my horse. And what I did was also measured a little strap that could go around here, and I put some little snaps on it. Now what that's gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this part back, and snap it down. And you can see I got the, uh, the makings of what appears to be the bridle. So, you know, there's your, there's your horse and bridle. You know, um, you can, get some straps and stick them under there and that can be, you know, the reins, you know, of the horse, or you can use some string. So it's, it's kind of like up to you, but that's, um, that's how to make an inexpensive uh, bit and bridle and um, saddle. And let's compare it to the briar. You can see the, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. The briar is a lot nicer, right? Like I said, if you want to use string, you can, or you can use um, little strips of the, uh, of the vinyl. I haven't decided on it yet, but, you can see it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get my ape and I'm gonna put him on top and we'll take one last look at it. But basically this is what you've got with the saddle and the bridle. So you know what, let me rotate this down a little bit. I don't think I can. I'd like to put that strap down there. But anyway, I'll be right back with my ape. I was thinking about putting an ape general on him, but I thought, you know what? I've got those conquest policemen, so let me try that and see how it looks. So you can see, you know, it looks great in the 21st century, you know, as well as far into some dystopian ape uh, apocalyptic future. So there's the there's the saddle with your figure on it. You know, uh, it'll look great with an ape as well. I've, I've photographed them with the apes, but uh, yeah, it looks great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys have fun with your Migos. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye now.